Hey YouTube, good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning in the Texas Hill Country. Um, appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Thanks for all the comments. Appreciate my subscribers. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to give a product review on a Works Pegasus multifunction work table and sawhorse. Uh, it comes with quick clamps and holding pegs. Um, now I did do some online research before I went out and bought this, uh, this work table. I'll show it to you here in just a minute. I uh, looked at uh, Black & Decker Workmate, I think, is one of the most well-known work tables, portable work tables out there. Uh, uh, Keter makes a brand, Craftsman, Skill also makes one. Uh, and I also looked at another Works product, the uh, Works Sidekick. Um, some of the things that I liked about the Works Pegasus, um, it's able to hold a heavy load. Uh, the, as a work table, it can hold up to 300 pounds uh, as a sawhorse, and it can be also used as a sawhorse in conjunction with a, another one. Uh, it can hold up to 1,000 pounds. Uh, it's real lightweight uh, to carry. It's only 25 pounds as a unit. Uh, it's made of molded ABS uh, with steel uh, supports, which is important. Uh, it comes with two custom integrated clamps. Uh, that can stay on or they can come off and they store easy on the side of it. And again, I'll show you here in just a minute. Uh, also comes equipped with four uh, clamp dogs uh, and you can also buy more. Uh, don't cost that much. Uh, work table surface is a 27 by 37 inches. Uh, and it, now this table can also be connected with similar tables so you can make a bigger workspace. Uh, but anyway, let me break it out here and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright folks, here's what I'm talking about. This is what this unit looks like when it's folded up. Let me open it up and we'll start talking about it. Alright, here's that work surface I was telling you about. It's nice and sturdy. Of course, now this one's dirty. I've been using it for a lot of different projects. But it does come with these clamps here. There. This is that integrated clamp I was telling you about. Locks down like that, works really good. Put your work material down there. Those dogs I was telling you about store down here on the underneath and you can place these on the table like that and hold in your work material tighten that down onto it works fairly well I do like this worktop it does give you a lot of work surface one thing I do wish that works would have incorporated in this would be a system because works makes so many other different tools saws and drills um, it would have been nice if there is a way to incorporate those tools so you can have maybe a table saw here with this workbench or maybe you can have a uh, drill press with one of their works battery powered drills um, I think that would be a plus um, the way you would connect other works tables together has these little rubber pieces that come out you can just butt the other table up against it uh, it's got those areas here where you can connect them same thing here has recessed spots little pockets where you can put your parts it also has measurements on it here which you can use both metric and standard you see the standard there pretty handy little unit um, and again it's got the the clamps on both sides those to incorporate in. 
you can use those. Use those dog clamps to hold your work material in there. Now I have improvised a tool and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, I had a need for a vise and I don't have a shop here where I'm at right now so I had to improvise something. I'll let you see what that looks like. Now what I did with the little vise out of my shop that I used to have just simply took and mounted it um, to this 2x4 piece that I had just a, just a small maybe 10 inches um, in length but secured that down there really good with the some screws on uh, the four locations so it's on there pretty solid then you use those clamping dogs I was telling you about to hold it down and then use this integrated clamp right here tighten that down onto it real simple that's tight that's on there so now I can use my vise for whatever I need to have the vise for such as uh, use it to hold uh, lawnmower blades when I'm sharpening them or uh, a piece of wood or something if I'm going to be cutting on or a pipe that I need to cut I can just put it right down in there and uh, that works out really well uh, this is kind of like what I was talking about where it would be nice if works would have a system that could be incorporated onto uh, this work table um, I really do like it uh, there is one downfall to it and I'm going to talk about that next before I get into what I think is the downfall of uh, this really nice portable workbench, uh, I want to show you real quick how to, how to uh, collapse it. Um, there's two orange little push buttons right there. You stand up and you push those and then that will drop this leg and, and, and fold that up. Now because I'm holding the camera here, I can't show you how that's done. I might try and put it down here and see if I can and, and demonstrate that for you. Buttons right here. That comes right down. Open on the other side. thing that I really don't like about this unit is that when it's like this it opens up really easy. Now you think, there's not a really a good way to carry this and what they recommend is that you reach over and you carry it you know, something like that. It's just kind of awkward. So what I found works best to keep this together, it would be nice if there was a, 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 a clasp or something, uh, some way to, to, to keep this together, but there's not. So what I did, I uh, just went down to Lowe's and got a, just a old uh, Blue Hawk uh, bungee, I think this is what they're called. Throw this over. Strap that together, doesn't open up, and then now you can carry it, move it around without the damn thing opening up on you, pinching your fingers. That's my solution, but you know, cost a couple bucks for a thing for that strap, so that's pretty easy and cheap solution for it. That's the only thing I have that I don't really like about the table. Um, it's nice compact stores up easy I think what is that six eight inches uh, so it's very narrow uh, very solid very solid work table all right YouTube that's all I got today uh, like I said it's a beautiful day here today just want to come out in the garage I apologize it's such a such a mess out here but got a new grill I bought for my son's birthday I uh, got it stored in here for until I can get it over to his house. I got my 
wood chipper over here. I've been working on it, putting new tires and put some welding work on it. But anyway, beside the point, it's uh, just a messy garage. Um, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hope you stay to the end here. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, I do recommend this. Uh, got this off of Amazon for about $120. Uh, I think it's worth every penny. Um, I'll probably get another one. Uh, it can be used as a sawhorse. I uh, don't know if I'd mention that to you or not, but um, let me move it over here so you can see it better. When it's set up like that, um, where you can put your you can expose it, fold it out with the uh, without the leg, without the uh, tabletop up, and uh, put uh, two by fours through there, and use that as a uh, as a sawhorse along with another one, obviously. Um, anyway, I like it. I'm gonna leave a link to it uh, down below. Give me your comments. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. You guys have a blessed day.